Yeah, I'm not gonna say I realized it when I got a family because I kind of seen it coming. I want to say four years prior to me uh, getting married and all that. And, and I, I I seen it coming because, like I say, you want to do certain things. Hey man, let me hit the overtime. A lot of jobs don't offer overtime like how uh, the, the jobs I've had. I'm mean, like gonna jobs I've had that offers overtime. Some sometimes you gotta go get a whole nother job, you know. And nothing is wrong with any of that. There's nothing wrong with having nice stuff. Or, like I say, you can kind of be the guy that don't really care about those material stuff and just kind of, man, you know, I'm just going, whatever I make, this is what I make, I'm going to save, I'm going to invest in this. But it, it, to be truthful, to be honest, the, percent of, the percentage of people that, that know about investing and doing this and building, buying stocks and starting a business, a lot of people don't just don't know this stuff unless you're taught it. And some people, when they learn, like in my case, I didn't learn until later on in life. My parents didn't know nothing about this stuff, you know, about buying rental properties or investing. Like, if I can go back to, if I can go back to when I was staying with my parents, yeah, I'd have bought a couple of uh, rental properties. I'd have invested some money because I didn't have nothing to lose. <laughs> I ain't had no bills. But when you got, you know, be, let's just say a single man, he got bills, he had responsibilities, so it's, it's only so much he can risk, you know. And a man with a family, he can't risk that much either because he had to provide for his family. And like I say, nothing's wrong with any of that, you know. But like I say, uh, once you see, okay, all right, I'm flat I'm gonna say I gotta do something about this. So, I, and I, I, I really believe social media has messed up a lot of people because you, you get on social media, like you get on social media, a man making 120, 150 thousand, he live a certain life, he live according to his 150 thousand dollar salary, because he can do things that a man making 60 thousand a year can't do. And that man making sixty thousand a year, man. I want to. I want to go do what he do. I want to go spend a week over here, uh, uh, take a weekend trip here. So what you would do? So what you would do? Uh, you would save your money or get you another job to do this to, to kind of do some of the things that God does. But you can't base your life on how other people live. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of like 